Hi everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today I am here to tell you that my blanket is finished. Well, actually, it's not my blanket, it's my daughter's. So I um, sort of um, worked really hard on this because I just wanted to get it finished now. Um, I have got a couple of other videos about this, sort of how I started, how to make the square and another update as well, telling you that my mum helped me to put all the ends in so that was really nice of her to do that that um made me uh sort of um you know save so much time i was able to you know do even more on this blanket so i made 126 squares then i put them together with the cloud blue into a blanket i had uh, nine across nine squares across and uh, 14 uh, rows along okay so in the length and when that was finished I asked my daughter <coughs> what border would you like <laughs> that was the wrong thing to do she said purple <clears throat> so I thought right okay let's just put this question away for a couple of days <laughs> And I'll ask it again. Um, and so in a few days, a few days later, I uh, asked her again. And I said, look, you know, you can't go for... I mean, obviously, I would have given her a purple border. But to be honest, it just wouldn't have, have looked right. So I showed it to her. I said, really, what I wanted you to tell me was which of these colours uh, you wanted as a border. Uh, so she said red. And I obliged. So she now has... Look at that. A red border and I think it brings out the colors of the rest of the blanket so beautifully I have just measured it and in the width it's 125 centimeters and in the length it's 190 centimeters so it is a single bed size and I think she is going to really love using it she's already looking forward uh, to getting it but she is getting it when she goes to university so I am a little bit early with this being ready um, but yeah I really love it I'm going to put it aside and um, yeah I will give it to her maybe I'll give it to her for Christmas and then she'll have it uh, for going to university next year but we'll see how it goes okay so <clears throat> I went to the park and I took some pictures of this blanket on the bench and stuff so I'll show you those in a moment but what I also made and you know that I've made this because it, this is a video is um, the matching lavender pillow and I've got this um, in a storage box at the moment with a hole in so it can air but this make makes it smell really nice so that's a very good idea to make that uh, with it um, and I also made uh, and you will be able to see this in the pictures and I've realized I didn't um, I haven't got a video for this yet <laughs> I also made bunting look at that so she can put this in her bedroom in her dorm at university <laughs> um, to brighten the place up so I will be making uh, or I will be showing you in one of the next videos uh, there will be uh, how to make this bunting as well. So Kath Kidston coloured inspired bunting to go with the blanket and with the lavender pillow. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Take a look at my pictures here. I hope you enjoyed these pictures. Thank you very much for watching. Um, keep an eye out because, as I said, I'm going to make that bunting. But also, remember, I have other blankets I have to update you on. And I am close to finishing those as well. So there will be videos coming up on those. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and share my videos if you are able to. And I would really like it if you went to my Facebook page, Ophelia Talks, and like me there. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.